Hi everybody, this is Lynn from Malevolent Makeup and today I'm going to be going over the Urban Decay Naked Palette. As you can see, these are the colors that are part of the palette. This is a very neutral palette other than the blues that are at the very beginning. It's mostly made up of a lot of really pretty bronzes, golds, uh, browns, some a few taupe colors, and a highlight color at the end which is always really nice to have. Again, like I said, very natural, very everyday makeup uh, wearable. And you can also do some really cool, dramatic, smoky stuff with it as well. So this is the inside, outside of the palette. And the palette does come with a very usable eyeshadow brush. This is uh, one side of it. It is a double-sided eyeshadow brush. Excuse me for my dirty hand, but I always use my makeup on there. And this is the second side of it. This palette is the first of three that are out right now. And there are 12 uh, eyeshadows in each palette. Um, the Naked One palette is suited more, in my opinion, for um, yellow skin tones or yellow undertones. Um, anybody who has, like, uh, I guess, well, not really peaches. What kind of peaches and cream skin tone? Um, not too much pink in their skin and not real olive skin, olive undertone skin either. Um, these eyeshadows are going to go really great with your skin tone to complement. The second and third one have more like pinky uh, shades or like pink undertones and like rose gold undertones in their eyeshadows, which for me, um, I don't personally think it looks good with my skin. Um, I think it looks better with more like pink undertoned and olive toned skin. So if you're more of a yellow based tone like I am, um, and I wear the makeup foundation, uh, excuse me, makeup forever foundation N125, which is yellow undertones, then you might want to look into getting the first palette. So let me do a few swatches of a few different colors here. I'm going to put my finger in there real quick. So the one I actually took was half baked and that's the one that I'm currently wearing on my eyeshadow lid right now. So that is half baked, this really awesome gold color. I just want to show you guys real quick that it is highly pigmented. It does not take a lot um, of shadow to get really good coverage. I um, mean, it's not just with their lighter ones. Let's take um, a swatch of Dark Horse, the one right here, and I'm actually also wearing that one as well. Let me get my finger in there. This is Dark Horse. Also really cool goldy undertone. And I'm going to put that right above. And there you go. We have the gold and we have the really cool Dark Horse. So now that you've seen a few of the swatches, um, well, the swatches that you did see are going to be the ones that I'm actually wearing right now, which is why I wanted to show them on my hand, because I don't know how well you can see them on my face, although I am going to attach pictures. But um, I just wanted to let you folks know real quick that the half-baked one that is seen right here is what I'm wearing on my lids. <laughs> and then I actually have Dark Horse, which is the second one that I had swatched uh, just a minute ago around the corners. And that's really, to be honest with you, other than um, the shade Virgin right here, which is like a highlight shade that I put right underneath my eyebrows. Those are the only shadows that I use in this look. And as you can see, um, the eyeshadow is highly pigmented. It didn't take a lot to get in there, um, or it didn't take a lot of product to get, you know, have to build up coverage or anything. It just, it goes on. As soon as you get it on a brush or on your fingers or whatever, it immediately goes from the brush to your face. It just transfers very well, transfers very pigmented, and it's super blendable. Um, again, the brush that it came with is super amazing, so I highly recommend that you use it. One of them, again, is a flat side, like more for like an eyeliner side, and the other side is a more um, fluffy blush, fluffy, fluffy brush, blending brush, like a fluffy blend. <laughs> So those are the colors that I do have on my face at the moment. And like I said, this is an extremely wearable work or look for work for school. Um, you can do a little bit more to it to make it more of a nighttime look. And again, I really can't stress to you 
how extremely neutral and versatile all of these eyeshadows are. Like, you really cannot go wrong buying this palette. It is so worth it. Um, through Ulta and Sephora, it is $52. God, someday I'm going to watch a video on how to speak when I'm recording. <laughs> but um, you're probably thinking $52 is a lot for 12 eyeshadows. And to be honest with you, I don't blame you for thinking that because... I thought that too for the longest time and I was like wow why are people spending so much money on this and it wasn't until I bought it and I was actually over at Ulta messing around with it that I was like wow because of the fact that a little does go a long way and you get 12 of a little goes a long way eyeshadows this palette's gonna last you even if you do use it every day you're gonna get about a good six months to a year's worth of eyeshadows out of this with like heavily daily usage with not heavily daily usage, if you're like me and just wear makeup like three or four times a week because you're lazy, <laughs> you're probably going to get a lot longer um, lasting power out of this. So really great product, Naked One. And as always, use an eyeshadow primer like Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer. I always use their primer. Is this upside down? Oh, pff, look at me. I thought that was the camera screwing up. always use their eyeshadow primer. Um as a primer and they work really really great together with their own eyeshadows imagine that so and actually just remembered this palette does come with a few samples of their urban decay eyeshadow primer potion so if you've never used the potion before and you're kind of skeptical about it use the samples that come with the urban decay naked palette I'm assuming they're coming with the second and third palette as well if you happen to buy those ones. And then you'll see that when you put this on first on your lids and then the shadows, the staying power is just tremendous. And you're really going to like it. So, in my opinion, worth the money, worth every penny. And I hope that they come out with a fourth palette that is just as great as this one. <laughs> Anyways, if you've already bought the palette, let me know what you think about it. If you didn't like it, let me know. Um, like the video rate the video, comment the video, subscribe to the videos, let me know if you want to see any looks or if you want me to do any reviews on a certain product because I probably have the product because I have a lot of makeup products. Anyways, we're getting naked. Thanks for watching.